New York this morning at 9.30. Wall Street is getting ready. The Ethereum spot ETF will commence trading for institutional investors, while Mongox is currently distributing huge amounts of Bitcoins. This has led to the start of a minor Bitcoin correction. These Bitcoins are owed to creditors of the failed exchange. But this is not what today is about. Today, I'm going to show you a major mistake that most of you are doing based on the Ethereum spot ETF approval, as things are not as they seem. Let's go. Grayscale is moving in the last couple of hours huge amounts of Bitcoins. And like I just said, this has led to a minor correction in Bitcoin. Now, the big question that everybody's asking is, will we see more downside today? Or is that just again something that will spook the market and we will see a bounce back to the upside? So that is something that I want to clarify with you guys today. So but let's first talk about the movement that we see on the Mount Gox wallet. So here on the Mount Gox wallet, as you can see, there were moved 42,000 more or less 600 Bitcoins, so which is 2.85 billion dollars so that is a huge amount and then again an hour later 5110 bitcoins that were moved now the big question is what kind of coins are these coins specifically are they going to hit the market are they not going to hit the market here i can comfort you a little bit these coins are to a high probability not hitting the market. So how do I know that? Because there was a study done under all the Mt. Gox creditors, what they are going to do with their Bitcoin when they are getting their coins back. So and what they conclusionally and collectively said to over 80% is that they are going to hold on to their Bitcoins and not willing to sell them right now. And this is something that I told you guys for a really, really long time that these people over the years where they were forced to hold their Bitcoin got smarter about it and understood how the cycle is working and also understand 10 months, 18 months longer to hold on to their Bitcoin is not changing a lot for them. But financially, it is the right decision because in 10 to 18 months, the bull run is over and that is the best point then to sell out out of their Bitcoins if they actually want to sell out. So, and that's why I always told you guys, I'm not expecting huge sell pressure coming out of Mt. Gox specifically. So of course, it spooked a little bit the market when now these coins were on the move. But as you can see, they went to a distribution address, actually to two here, to distribute these coins to creditors and it did not go into an exchange. Hence why I'm not really worried about that. But we need to talk about something really, really dangerous here. And that is the Grayscale Ethereum fund, Ethereum uh, spot ETF uh, fund that they are holding. Because they have now seeded their mini Ethereum ETF product, so which has really low fees, which is nice. So, but the EETHE fund that they have or the e ETHE shares, uh, that is something that can be converted into Ethereum and the creditors can sell out of it. And this is really, really dangerous because that will put a lot of selling pressure again um, on Ethereum as we had seen that in the past with Bitcoin. So, and therefore, I'm warning you guys right now, we might see today a massive, massive correction to the downside when we see the first funds moving on the Grayscale wallet from their Grayscale fund, the ETHE, to Coinbase. I will leave a link here to Arkham in the description below where you can directly track it the same way I do that. And you see here then live the outflows once they are coming in. So why is this so dangerous? I was talking about this a couple of days ago. It is so dangerous because they are charging 2.5% as a starting fee and also for a, a waiver fee. And when you compare that to all the others ETF, uh, all the other ETF providers, then you see that they are 10 to 20 times more expensive than anybody else. So what would you do if you see something? Really simple. Let's say um, you have a car that I like, 
the car cost $50,000. Now I go to your brother and your car has the same car. Uh, your brother shows me the same car, the exact same model, the exact same kilometers, everything the same, but he's telling me it's uh, 500,000 instead of 50,000. From who I'm going to buy the car? Of course, I'm going to buy it from you and not from your brother because it's 10 times cheaper. Here, the same thing is going to happen. People are gonna sell out out of their uh, Grayscale Ethereum Trust um, here with the ticker ETHE and they either, first of all, gonna take profit on the shares because they made money on it and I'm gonna show you that also in a second or they are then reinvesting into another ETF product with way, way, way lower fees. But overall, we are going to see here some sell pressure coming in and I'm going to show you why. The reason is uh, the ETHE price. You have to understand where the price was when uh, the FTX crash happened and the GBTC share fell by 50% and you could get basically Bitcoin at a 50% discount. So here, this was not really the case, but the price during the uh, FDX collapse went from 10, uh, almost $11, all the way down in December, when basically the, the worst was more or less over, all the way down to like $4.71 here by the end of the year. $4.71 was one of the lowest prices uh, that we opened with. Now, there you see, that is also from end of October until end of December, that is a 50% discount. But here is a little, uh, something a little bit different. The calculation to one Ethereum uh, is not the same like for GBTC. So here, the calculation was always matched up to one Ethereum according to their price. So, But of course, you could have gotten more shares um, than originally. So now imagine you would have bought during the crash, you got a share for uh, $4.71. The... Uh, share price in Ethereum is 0.0008 Ethereum, I think. So you would have basically bought one Ethereum for $320. So really, really cheap, if my math is not wrong. Uh, so wait, 120, no, sorry, for $500. $500 instead of $1,000. So again, a 50% discount. The same what we saw on Bitcoin. This money has grown now by 4x. So and because you got a 50% discount for you, it's 8x. Do you not think that some people are going to take profit because they made 8x their money on, in a, um, on a 50% discount investment? Now that they can finally get Ethereum out, out of the Grayscale uh, Trust, I'm pretty, pretty sure we're also going to see a lot of outflow from people actually taking profit here. So, and I had here, did I close this by accident? Yes, I closed by accident. So, of course, Ethereum is right now moving a little bit to the upside in anticipation of the launch of the uh, spot ETF, which is going to happen in roughly in an hour from now, uh, when you see this video. Our Ethereum trade is still doing quite well, but I'm telling you here once again, guys, get your stop losses on. Because once Grayscale is sending only, it doesn't matter how much they are sending, you know, to, to Coinbase. It can be a thousand Ethereum that they are sending. The market is immediately getting spooked and going to crash. You, you're gonna see it once it's happening. So that's why I'm telling you, have your stop losses on, put them in into the golden ratio. Uh, you will still walk away with a nice chunk of money that we made here in between. And I'm pretty sure we can get here back to our entry level and either add to our positions or you get a chance to open a position here if you missed it on the way to the upside. Again, we're here at major resistance. We were about to break down this rising wedge here. I believe the next in the next four hourly candle, we are, um, sorry, 12 hourly candle because we're on a 12 hourly chart, we're actually going to see that breakdown. Then when we're going here to this 12 hourly chart, also here you see the range overall that Ethereum is trading in and the big range when you zoom out is from $2,882 all the way up here to $3,854. So almost um, a $1,000 range here that we are trading in between for the time being. Right now we are of course above the mid range at $3,350, but I'm pretty sure that we are potentially losing this uh, when we see outflow from the Grayscale fund. Again, we're only going to see this if the Grayscale uh, fund is sending 
Ethereum to Coinbase later when they start trading. If this is not happening, then you can expect Ethereum to rally to the upside. But we need to be prepared here for downside. And I'm going to show you in a moment why this is so important, especially today, because this could be the trigger that um, the whole market was waiting for to get a bigger correction. So that's why stay around here, guys. Really, really important. The DXY is also slightly moving up today. Uh, we are coming close to our entry level uh, for our trade that we can take on Prime XBT, guys. Uh, don't forget, you can still win $500 every single week here um, on this channel um, to trade on Prime XBT. Just sign up there, deposit $100, and you stand a chance to win $500. I'm going to announce a winner tomorrow and gonna draw the winner live on the show. So I had no time to do it today to prepare for that, but tomorrow I'm going to do it. I'm going to do that. I um, I promise you, you know, pinky promise, guys. I'm, I'm going to do it tomorrow. You can take this trade here, uh, like I said, on Prime XPT. Um, that short setup that we have here. And again, if we move here a little bit higher than expected, I will keep scaling into this trade. I'm going to take the trade with you guys together. Uh, now, in terms of Bitcoin here, on the daily chart, you can clearly see that Bitcoin is coming back into this resistance level. Uh, I believe that this here was a deviation, so which means that was a move outside the norm, uh, basically to trap people to go long here. But the right move would have been to go short from here uh, and trade to the downside. Because once we are closing below that um, support resistance flip zone, I have to call it this right now, uh, and we get a retest, and we fail to reclaim at the retest, then expect that we are going to the downside. Uh, of course, not uh, potentially sub $60,000. Uh, $60, I am not really seeing that anymore. But we could definitely get to like $62,000 or $64,000. So this is kind of the range from where I expect Bitcoin to bounce back to the upside. So and now um, you might understand in a moment why I'm saying that we have here downside potential. So the downside potential is also coming for completion of this inverse head and shoulders uh, pattern. So here also again on the daily chart. So for this pattern to conclude, we need now um, several candles coming here down potentially again to $60,000, $64,000. And then we can V-shape recover back to the upside, break the neckline and go to all the way um, to the upside to the technical target of $85,000. So now you have a high time frame Bitcoin pattern lining up with potential huge selling pressure coming in from grayscale, which is giving us the perfect potential cocktail with uh, for, a put, uh, for a move into some lower levels um, to correct and cool down the price before we see continuous upside here for Bitcoin. Also here on this uh, daily chart, you see that we are now in a hot phase here on the oscillator reactive gradient on the MDX algo indicators. Uh, I want you about this, that this is going to happen and uh, that at this time, we are also going to see a pullback. So, and here you see now we are getting the pullback that I was talking about here. We are also running hot, even though we have here um, basically a couple more plots of days um, before we are running here completely hot. That's why I'm saying there is a potential we come down here, like here, we did the same thing. We were rolling over, came down to this level here and then ran hot again and saw a move to the upside. So here we could see something similar. We are coming down, it will stay red, then it runs hotter. Then here also the oscillator harmony will run super hot at that level into August. And we are rallying here above $70,000, potentially a new all-time high. And then we need to cool down and the $70,000 level will turn into a support level at that moment in time, potentially. So this is uh, the playbook that I'm looking at. So you see here Bitcoin is pulling back more and more. You see here over leveraged long positions just below the EMA ribbon, uh, which is telling me that potentially a move here below the EMA ribbon might be quite likely that bears are pushing it down there to um, yeah, basically try to get people scared and push them out of the market. And what you're also going to see then is more over leveraged shorts coming in and they're going to get punished when we are bouncing back to the upside. Now, again, on weeks, 
if you are trading on weeks, you farm an airdrop while you are trading, guys. Don't forget this. Plus to, uh, that you get uh, a deposit bonus if you deposit a little bit money there. And I am trading mainly Bitcoin on weeks, guys. So it's a really good exchange. You see, I have my order set here at 60,000 and 62,400. Uh, and I will place now another um, another 60, what is it? Uh, I will place another 60, come on, 64,400. So yeah, so I put here another $64,000 uh, at the $64,400 level. So if we come down here, uh, it will get executed. I have still $61,000 left here on the side, just in case uh, that I want to deploy more capital. Um, but this is right now the setup that, that I have here. Again, if you want to trade on weeks, there is a link in the description. No KYC, no VPN needed. Really easy. It takes you less than two minutes to sign up to this exchange. Then when we are looking here at the liquidation heat map, also here you see, again, $72,000 is the most anticipated area uh, to be taken out here on the way up. But I, again, don't believe that this is going to happen today. I believe that we are first going down here and taking out $62,000. Here is also um, a huge concentration of longs sitting there. So uh, $2 billion if we go all the way down here um, and potentially a little bit more. Yeah, so we would potentially take out $4 billion uh, in worth of longs if we go all the way down here to $62,000. Uh, while if we go up to $70,000, so if we would go up to $70,000, it would be a little bit more. It would be potentially, I would say, $7, 8000000000 billion, uh, roughly around that number. So now, uh, something else that you also should keep in mind here while we are going down already. We see here on the four-hourly time frame now a bearish divergence playing out. We had here higher highs along that upward sloping trend line and then uh, lower highs along this downward sloping trend line uh, on the RSI. So also here, um, it looks like that this divergence is already playing out. It will be confirmed when we are breaking below $66,000 uh, because I expect then cascade going to the downside, some, something like that, to $62,000, $64,000, like I said, something like this in that region. So also here, the 12 hourly chart, the VPVR is telling us the same thing. We are now below the point of control. We were not able to hold the point of control that I pointed out yesterday. Here is also the uh, biggest volume traded area on the 12 hourly chart, so which is giving us resistance. Hence, we are reversing now to the downside. Here again, the first stop on the 12 hourly chart would be the golden ratio. And um, if the, the golden ratio is not holding, then we go all the way down to the 0 0.5 level. And there, um, right now, I believe that this is the strongest bounce level for Bitcoin. And this is where I'm going to buy as heavy as I can to build a new long position. You see here on the four hourly chart on the MDX uh, scalp indicator um, where we see how price action is actually running hot or being cold. Uh, we are now in a phase where we are cooling a little bit down. So while we're getting a pullback, we got a sniper entry here for our short position. So I hope you were able to catch that yesterday. And we are now already, of course, in a nice profit here. So we are roughly, I think, 3% or something, 2.4% more or less. So on 10x leverage, 24% already in a profit on this short setup that I had given you guys. And don't forget, the take profit point here is around $63,200. But uh, you should potentially start taking profit around $64,000 once we are reaching that level, while Bitcoin is coming here lower and lower. Then also, don't forget, on weeks, I have also uh, another trade setup uh, more or less the same that I have on uh, on weeks here on Zoomax. Also, again, guys, if you want to trade on Zoomax, there is a link uh, in the pinned comment. Uh, you get up to $45,000 and you get $10 just for signing up there. Take everything what you can get for free right now to have as much liquidity as possible so that you can take full advantage of these moves here that I give you absolutely for free and these setups uh, where you can make insane life-changing money. $10 doesn't sound much, but trust me, even with $10, you can big uh, make big amounts even though it takes a little bit longer so but don't ne neglect that and use the link in the description for that guys then the bitcoin dominance is coming down here exactly as we pointed this out here uh, for a long time uh, with our uh, path here 
that we laid out. So the Bitcoin dominance should overall keep falling now to the downside. Even if the price goes down, the dominance should come down with it, which is absolutely fine. And we keep our trajectory here in back into the pennant and then continuation to the downside. Once we are breaking 54%, we know, okay, alt season is upon us. Then in terms of altcoins, the funding rates are still super, super chill. Um, you can basically still long whatever you want for the next couple of weeks and more or less everything will make money in my opinion over the next four to eight weeks so you can like i said you can basically buy whatever you want right now uh, just don't over leverage yourself and if you, uh, and then you just keep holding it until funding rates starting to run hot again so but as you can see here we are super super um cooled down on these funding rates still and on some of them even in the negative so it makes a lot of sense here to start building positions so one of them is Rune, so it came here all the way back down to our entry level, bounced back up here, is now at a resistance at $4.76. I expect that this is going to break here on the four hourly chart because the indicators are all in alignment for continuation to the upside, stochastic pointing up, MACD uh, losing momentum on the sell side and the RSI strong um, move here to the upside also. Uh, the only thing that we need to do here is to break above $4.85 here, this upward sloping trend line. We need to reclaim that and then we continue to go to the upside. Also, guys, don't forget, all my altcoin trades are happening on a Bybit. You see, I have here um, a LIDO trade, I have here Rune, and I have a new trade, um, GRT. Uh, here, I might add uh, more money uh, pretty soon. Oh, I did not see that this is on cross. I did not want this on cross. So, uh, this is bad. This is bad, guys. So I need to get out of this. I need to get out of this. Even I make sometimes uh, mistakes. If you want to uh, grab a free $500 airdrop position, the only thing that you need to do is deposit $100 on Bybit. Sign up with the link down below for that. Grab your f uh, free $500. Again, get as much liquidity as possible that you can grab here for free. Uh, sign up on Bybit. You can trade here all these coins that are listed and then you, you just uh, trade these coins and uh, all the profits belong to you. Only the $500 cannot be withdrawn, guys. You have to remember that. You cannot withdraw the $500, but you can withdraw all the profits that you made uh, make out of it. And don't forget, I showed you recently on another exchange how I turned $400 into over $3,000 in less than two weeks. You can do the same with the $500. So take advantage of that while you still can do that on Bybit, guys. One of our trades here, ENS, since yesterday, completely exploding. So this is up almost 15% uh, only today, guys. So I hope that you got into this even higher, 17.6%. It was as high as almost 20% already. There you see it, guys. I told you the Ethereum narrative coins are going to pump around the Ethereum spot approval. And this is what you're seeing here right now. We are uh, now just, we just broke $30 here on ENS. I want you guys that there is a big push coming potentially um, when uh, because ENS is quite volatile. So I, I was telling you about this. So here, um, I would also start getting my stop losses, guys, you know, put them to like $28.67. Uh, there is like a 5% uh, five percent away from current price that is big enough guys you are then over 12 percent in profit let it run guys let it run if it goes higher keep trailing up uh your uh, your stop loss in profit to secure your profits here on the way up to the technical technical target of 37 dollars then also lido uh like uh, as i just shown you guys also here we are pumping right now um we uh, are slightly above our entry level we kind of more or less uh, got a nice uh, support here from the 0.382 on the Fibonacci tracement uh, levels. And also here, I see more upside once we are breaking above $1.90 into our target here of $2.26. So again, if this bot ETF um, launch gets us a lot of inflows uh, first into the ETFs and then a couple hours later, Grayscale is going to sell uh, some of their shares, then first we're going to see a massive pump potentially even hitting $2.26 on Lido before we see a big re uh, rejection then back to the downside. So that's why it's so important that you were actually set up a couple of days ago already when I gave you guys all these trades. Then also AVAX uh, is potentially coming back into our entry level here. So watch out for that. I mentioned this also a couple of days ago. I'm waiting for that because here on the daily chart, uh, we uh, see here definitely retracement right now 
playing out uh, based on the MACD losing momentum, the stochastic giving a sell signal pointing to the downside, and also the RSI going to the downside. So here's still more downside, in my opinion, all the way down to like $29.34, which is not crazy. You know, so it's like a 6% move. Uh, yeah, it's like not even a 6%, it's like a 4% move to the downside, so which is not, not a lot, So and from there you, you can trade this back to the upside or add to your position if you did not get got out here uh, with a stop loss in profit beforehand. Then also here on though, I'm waiting patiently that the price comes to me. You see we are getting here closer and closer. Uh, the price is not far away from our entry level here at 98 cents. Once uh, we are hitting this level, um, it will trigger my uh, limit orders and I will get into this trade to trade this into $1.24 potentially here. The indicators are already a little bit overextended on the bearish side. So we are here oversold and I expect here definitely a bounce uh, pretty, pretty soon, most likely coinciding with my entry level here. So definitely watch out for that. So this can happen really quick. So you should better have a limit order here uh, instead of trying to market enter this once it's coming down because I believe it can be really short-lived that we are down here and before we're getting a bounce back to the upside. Then GRT uh, pulling back here from the golden ratio currently. Uh, I hope we can reclaim that because here the indicators on the 4-hourly are suggesting that we also should continue to go to the upside. So I hope the next 4-hourly candle will break above that and also above the 0 0.382 level and then... Um, from there we can consolidate a little bit we are around our entry level right now so which is perfect so if you're looking to enter this enter this now like i said i have also a trade on grt right now running but um yeah i definitely have to de de decrease um the leverage on that and change it to isolated because um i made a mistake there i i did not check uh, what leverage and what uh type of uh, leverage I'm, I'm using there so which was stupid so but um it happens it happens you know so then engine engine is also coming down here uh, into this sub uh, demand zone sorry the demand zone from here we are seeing currently a bounce if we can hold this demand zone this underlying demand zone we might see a bounce back to the upside here i definitely want to see a reclaim of the golden ratio before i'm entering this especially while we have here also the ema ribbon flipped to the downside so this is only getting interesting for me here also um when we are reclaiming the 0 0.6 because on the four hourly time frame that would also mean that we're coming back into the ema ribbon and not uh staying below that so here definitely definitely want to see that uh, if we are not holding this and we are breaking here this supply area uh, sorry demand area then we are most likely going to see something like this and i will buy then here at the fibonacci golden ratio extension but overall the indicators would suggest that we get here also pretty soon a nice move to the upside hands where i'm looking out for this then one other coin that i'm giving you which is looking similar is ton uh, Ton also has lost the golden ratio right now. Here also, only a reclaim of the golden ratio will trigger the new trade setup. Um, if we go way, way lower than where we are at right now, I might target uh, here that kind of range at $6.52 for an entry level. And then uh, my target will become $7.69. So, but uh, because we are not that far away from the golden ratio there is a potential that uh, that we are reclaiming this in the next four hourly candle hence why i'm waiting patiently right now uh, to enter this um, if we get back here so like i said otherwise i will enter a little bit lower and again guys if you want the money making indicators that i'm using here with the mdx algo suite there is a link in the description you get 10 percent discount if you use my specific link again uh, the owner is a friend of mine and i negotiate uh, that discount only for you guys so take advantage of that while you can and this is already everything for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it please make sure to smash up the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and let's make some profits here with the ethereum etf and i'm gonna see you tomorrow